Venezuela's opposition-dominated Congress is holding a special session to push forward a trial against Socialist President Nicolas Maduro. This comes just one day after a U.S. envoy arrived in the capital Caracas to support political dialogue between the two sides. The Vatican is also facilitating these talks. Juan Carlos Lamas has more from Caracas. Today, in a special session, the Venezuelan National Assembly will hold a political trial against President Maduro for engaging in what it calls an ongoing coup by blocking the recall process, a process the opposition has hoped will lead to the ouster of President Maduro. Maduro has been summoned to appear before the Congress today at 3 p.m. local time. We came here to denounce before the whole world the painful disruption of Venezuela's constitution made by Maduro's government. They only care about power, corruption and privilege. The left president says he won't appear before the Congress to participate in the trial. And the trial itself is likely to be only symbolic, since the Venezuelan Supreme Court has declared Congress illegitimate. Many Venezuelans say they're fed up with the political grandstanding on both sides, saying both the government and the opposition care only for their own interests. If the politicians continue toying with our lives, we'll end up not believing in any of them. I think the government should take measures to provide more food and stop blaming the opposition for the country's problems. They should free all political prisoners and start a sincere dialogue. In the meantime, Maduro shook hands and sat down with some opposition leaders at Vatican-led talks. Maduro's opponents have threatened to boycott future meetings unless they are given a guarantee that the recall process will be allowed to continue.